everyone. Today we're talking about how electrofusion welding works. This is when you have two pipes that you want to join using an electrofusion welding socket. And we will do this step by step. Okay, first of all we need to scrape the piece of the pipe that's going to go into the welding socket. And I've measured it and marked it here. And now we're going to scrape using one of these pipe scrapers. All right, it's important that we scrape the complete surface that goes into the welding socket. Uh, that takes away the film of oxide that forms on the surface of the pipe, which can prevent successful welding. Now that we have scraped the pipe, the next step is to clean it to get rid of any oils or dirt, both the pipes and also the inside of the welding socket. Now we're going to measure the insert depth of the socket so that we can mark it onto our pipes. that. Like that. And now if you're using conductive piping, which this is, you have to take one of the in conductive connectors and insert that into the joint as well. Then you place your pipes, push them into the socket, and your marks should then align with the edge of the welding socket. Now we need to fixate the pipes and the fitting so they cannot move during welding and cooling down. We're using one of these double clamping tools. It will make sure that nothing moves. Then we attach the welding wires from the welding machine. The welding machine will now read the resistance of the welding wire that's inside the welding socket as well as the ambient temperature in the room so that it can adapt the current accordingly. Inside the welding socket, it looks like this. This is the inner sleeve of a welding socket and you will see the resistance wire that goes around it, several laps like this. And this is actually where we're connecting the welding cables in the welding towers like this. So, the next step is to start the welding. The machine now calculates the current and the time needed to weld this socket. That beep tells us that the welding cycle is complete and we can now remove the welding cables. The socket is now really hot. Inside it's 200 degrees and all of this yellow plastic here has melted as well as the surface of the pipe. And that fuses together to create a really strong joint. Our next step is to mark the socket so that we will know for sure it's welded. These tiny welding indicators here will pop up during welding but for easy inspection always cross and mark an X on the pipe. You should also take a note of the time, write down the time and the date on the socket so that you will know when it has cooled down enough for you to remove the clamps. Okay, it's been now uh, 30 minutes and the welding socket has cooled down uh, and we can now remove the clamp and our welding process is finished. And that is how electrofusion welding works. Thank you for watching.